Gecko Trading Bot command line setup. So if you look up Gecko Trading Bot on YouTube, there's a lot of videos now. Actually, when I first started, when I made my video a while back, right here, setting up my first free trading bot, which was the Gecko Trading Bot, there were probably less than a handful of videos, and most of them didn't even teach you how to actually set up the trading bot. They just really compared and talked about which one is better, which one has other features, this one has that feature, that one doesn't, and didn't really teach you how to install it. So I was one of the few people that actually made the video that teach you how to install step by step. Obviously, ask Mike Tuts. I think he's the guy that cre he's the guy that created Gecko. He has a video as well. And after going through the video, I still needed help. That's why I ended up creating my own video, and that's why I got almost ten thousand views for my video. But after setting up the trading bot, I haven't really done much with it, mainly because of this. As you can see in the screenshot right here, this is the UI. So you can use the trading bot using the web interface and do back testing, import previous data to do back testing on various exchanges, on various trade pairs. But what I found lacking in the web interface was that you can't use your own strategies. So that was a real pain for me because you can customize all these default strategies that you want. You can customize RSI to however liking that you want. But it's still not your strategy, not the one that you will want to implement. So the only way to do that is to do it through the command line interface. And before I go on further though, let me also bring up the fact that DTube also doesn't have anything at all related to Gecko Trading Bot. It has something about Metal Gear Solid 4, but nothing for Gecko Trading Bot. So I definitely want to add more videos on DTube regarding the Gecko Trading Bot. There's one other reason why I am pretty much revisiting the Gecko trading bot. And the idea is this. I'm following all this trend line, following technical analysis, making the trades I want when I'm awake. But when I'm not awake, when I'm actually sleeping, something like this happens. Like in the middle of the night, this is a couple days ago when it actually shot, when Ethereum shot straight up right here. And I couldn't make the trade at all. I couldn't, um, I couldn't take profit on the trade. So it's really disappointing because Coinbase or GDAX doesn't have this particular option that I'm looking for, which is the take profit order. With GDAX and with many, many cryptocurrency exchanges, you can set stop losses. If a coin or trade pair hits a specific price that you're afraid that will get to, automatically sell that particular coin for you. You'll end up taking a loss, a small loss, like in my case, I said like a 3% stop loss. You can set anything from like 10 to 20 percent if you don't mind taking the bigger loss but at least you know that you won't be holding bags so that's why it's very important to have stop losses but the take profit is the absolute reverse so what it is is you can if you can set a take profit order what you'll be doing is let's say that you want to take profit at around 500 513 dollars i mean granted it went up a lot right now so you wouldn't really want to be taking but let's just say for hypothetical purposes you want to just you're buying it on the dip here, you bought it on the dip and you want to sell over here. You can only do it with a take profit order, which unfortunately is not available in a lot of exchanges. So that's what brings me back to the Gecko Trading Bot. It's because with the Gecko Trading Bot, you can, at the minimum, you set up your own very basic strategy that would tell it to sell at a specific price and it will do that for you. So that's one thing I want to set up. In addition to creating my own custom strategy and using those on Gecko, those are the two things that I really want to do. And unfortunately, you just can't do it in the web interface. So this video is going to be all about setting up the command line interface so that you can use your own strategies. This video won't cover how to set up your own strategies because I haven't got that far yet. And I don't think I have enough time to cover it in this video. But let me go ahead and show you how to set up the command line interface. So the first thing is you want to go to terminal. So I'm doing it from Linux at this point. If you're doing it from Windows or you're doing it from Mac, I guess for Mac is very similar because in Mac you also have terminal. In Windows you're probably doing it in command prompt. So anyway, the first thing you want to do is create a copy of that sample config file that they included in the Gecko installation that you did. So again, if you don't have Gecko installed, definitely watch this video that I created giving you step-by-step -step instructions on how to set up Gecko on your, on your Windows computer. 
Although I have to say it's very similar. If you're able to set up on the Windows computer, you shouldn't have much problem setting up on your Mac or on a Linux computer, as long as you're a really comfortable command prompt or terminal. Once you set up, get, once you make a copy of the config file, you should see it show up in here, config.js. Then the next thing you do is you want to open it in your favorite text editor. On Linux, I'm using Mousepad. On Windows, you're probably using Notepad. Or if you actually, if you really like Linux VI or whatever text editor you want to use, go ahead and open config.js in the, your favorite editor. So then in here, what you want to do is pretty much follow the instructions that they have. So if you go to the GetGo website, so there's a section called about the command line. So it's right over here. We go to command line, about the command line. This will bring you to this page and it'll tell you what you need to set up. It really depends on what you want to do. So there's three particular things you can do in the command line setup. So I'll be covering two today. So the first one is the live trade mode for live mode run. So basically this is for actually running the bot and having it trade for you. I won't be covering this today just because I still want to make sure I have everything set up properly, but I will be covering first how to imp how to set up the import run. You need to gather historical data from various exchanges and be able to use that data to backtest. I'll be covering the import and then you I'll be covering the backtest as well. To start the import process of historical data, what you want to do is follow the instructions here on this page. Again, this is uh, the importing section under command line. So it's command line importing. Then follow the section here, and the first thing I tell you to do is for importing, you should enable and configure the following plugin, Candle Writer. Besides that, make sure to configure config.watch properly. And then the third thing is in your config, set the import importer.date range property to, to the date range you would like to import. So those are the three things you need to set up. So first thing is inside the config.js file, you want to make sure that you enable Candle Writer. So you set enable to true. The next thing is you want to set up the trade pair that you want to trade with. So you can set up to Binance, which Gecko does support, and then you can set the trade pair and then the assets. The tick rate I haven't played with. I, I guess you can play with it and you read it into a little bit more. And the next thing is you want to configure the importing. So this is the date range you want to configure it to. So originally it had like two, uh, 2017, November 1st or something like that. So you probably want to set it to a date range that you want. I only have it set to from just because this is a my first time doing it. After I play around with a little bit more, you can set it to as well. So you want to say from, and then you say comma. You could do two, and then you could put in an end. Uh, you could put in an end range as well. So once you do that, you want to make sure you save your config.js file, and then you go back into your terminal, and then you say node, and you really follow the instructions, right? It's this right here is run node gecko dash dash import. And what this would do will run the import process. At least that's what I would thought because it, I got an error message saying, please er, please specify a config file. And this is where the error comes in because the instructions in here are actually slightly incorrect. So you have to actually go back into the about the command, command line section. And you can see that to run the import process, you actually need to tell Gecko the name of your config file. So you need to write node gecko dash dash config space config.js space dash dash import. So once gecko knows where your config file is, then it'll be able to run it. And once it starts running, it depends on how long the duration is. It can take quite a bit of time. For me, even though like this is about like a six, seven day time frame for historical data, it took about almost an hour. So I definitely recommend you do a minimum for something like a day just to get an idea how long it takes on your computer. So once it's done, it'll tell you it's done importing. So it took almost an hour for me. The next thing you want to do is go back in to your config.js folder because now that you completed the importing of the historical data, you need to do the backtest portion. You need to set up your config.js file for backtesting. And in order to set up the backtesting, you need to enable and configure, as it says here in this page, Trading Advisor to run your strategy, Paper Trader to execute simulated trades, and Performance Analyzer to calculate how successful the strategy has been. Besides that, make sure to config config.watch. So I, you already did that already, config.watch, I believe. And then um, from my experience, you don't need to actually config Performance Analyzer. But let's go back in here. So first thing you did was Trading Advisor. So you go for, so in my case, I just did a search for Trading Advisor, 
and find where it is in the config file, enabled it, make sure it's enabled. And then they tell you what method it's using. Right now I'm just leaving it as MACD. I just want to make sure that it's even usable. So there's many different methods to, you can use for trading advice. So, and I'll get into that in a future video, but right now this is just leaving the basics, make sure that the trading advisor is on. The next thing you want to do is configure the plugin. What you want to do here is configure how the paper trader works, because this is a section two, right? So paper trader. And here you want to say report in currency equal true. So you want to make sure that it reports in the currency that you're trading in. So let's say you are, I'm, I'm doing it for USD. You can do it for different uh, currency. You can do it for Euro, whatever currency your, your trade pair is. So you want to make sure the reporting currency is true. And then you want to also set up this uh, the simulation balance. So in my case, I changed this from asset equal one. So this basically, the, this means that right now, as of right now, is you have one Bitcoin in your balance and $100 uh, for trading. So what I did was I changed it. So because I want to make sure that the idea is I want Gecko to actually execute a trade when I only have one or the other, let's say I bought a certain amount of Bitcoin or Ethereum, whatever it is, and I have a lot of that, but I wanted to sell, so I would only set the asset to, let's say, if I have a 0.1 Bitcoin, for example, I would set it to asset equals 0.1, and I would set the currency to zero, so I would have zero in terms of um, US dollar, and I'll be asking the tr Gecko Trading Bot to trade for me to sell the Bitcoin for me at a certain price. So you want to make sure you set the simulation balance to be realistic to your particular scenario. And the next thing you want to do is set up the fee, how much it costs for your exchange in terms of the maker fee and the taker fee. If you're not familiar with that, I suggest you look that up to understand. So usually the maker fee is much lower than the taker fee. In my case, it's 0 0.00 and the taker fee is 0.03%. And then the fee that I'll be using is the maker. And slipbridge, slipbridge, I didn't even configure it. It's the idea is if your particular trade pair has a very high amount of volume, slipbridge shouldn't be a concern unless you're a whale. So in my case, I'm not a whale, so I'm not really worried about that. But you should look at, look into slipbridge if you do have a lot that you're trading or perhaps the exchange that you're using or the trade pair that you're using have a very low volume. This is the performance analyzer portion. It was just basically, I just left it as this, enable true, risk-free return, five. I have no idea what that means. I just left it as true. I didn't change any of the default settings there. So now that you set up the paper trader, what you need to do next is to set up the date range that you want to backtest. So in this case, I pretty much just copied the imported date range from here, from uh, importing date range. I copied it from here to here, and then I just adjusted it slightly. So I added like a two view, as I mentioned, so that it will only backtest one specific day, April 12th to April 13th. And I make sure I added this comma here so that the batch size wouldn't cause an error out. So this is all I needed to do. Once I did that, I saved it and I'm ready to backtest. So I go back in here. Again, the instructions on the backtest page is slightly incorrect. So it tells you this right, it just tell you type in no gecko dash dash backtest. That's again incorrect. You needed to go back to the command line page and tells you node gecko dash dash config config.js dash dash backtest and that's how you're able to run the backtest process and once you run the backtest process it's relatively quick for a one day backtest and I have to say this is actually a lot faster than the um, web interface for me personally because my computer is very slow and they try to plot out a graph for you which I find relatively useless but hey so in this case the original simulated balance was $1,000. And then this current simulated balance after running through the backtest was $1,075 for a total profit of $75, which is not bad. So, but again, this is just a very basic strategy that they have. This is not your custom strategy. Because if you look at the time frame that I, they traded on, actually, you can see that it was from, so April 12th way over here, so a 6940. And then you sold it over here the next day on April 13th, 7955. You actually will have made more money. If you just made one trade to buy over here and sell over here, you would have made more money. I think it was like double this amount than letting the Gecko Trading Bot make hundreds of trades. I think it was exactly 100. Let's go back in here. It'll tell you amount of trades, 100. So it made exactly 100 trades 
And from the 100 trade, only made $75 by going in and out, in and out, 100 times in this process. But if you just made one trade at midnight of April 12th and then and sold it at midnight on April 13th, you would have made double the amount. So why am I still thinking of using Gecko Trading Bot? Again, it's because I want to use my custom strategy, which I'll be covering in a future video. I hope this video is helpful to show you guys how to at least set up the process of, the process of using the command line interface on Gecko. So that's my video for today, guys. Let me know what you guys think about command line interface with Gecko. Let me know if you guys used it previously. Let me know if this video has been helpful for you. Upload this video and re-steam it if you like the topic I'm covering. If it isn't crypto, it isn't worth mining, it isn't worth speculating. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out.